Welcome back to Full Circle with Rikali. How are you doing this morning? Where are you watching us from? Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. Part of the conversation. Sending your questions right now, though. We have a beauty queen in the building. It's time for Business Circle. Daisy Isiaho. I hope I say that right. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the show. Thank you so much, Mikali, for having me today yeah. and bringing me into the full circle and giving me that opportunity oh. to actually share with your viewers about who we are and yes. what we do. Yes. Uh, my name is Daisy yeah. Isiaho. I am the co-founder and chief product officer at Zuri Health. Yes. So at Zuri Health, we are building an all-inclusive mobile health solution to provide affordable and accessible healthcare solution for all with a simple swipe. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Feels like you came here with an elevator pitch. You know how you just dropped all of that in one? We have to. And, and that's beautiful. And we'll get to that in just a bit. But you are a beauty queen. I don't know if this happened before Zuri mm -hmm. or which one happened first? So um, throughout my life, I've been into modeling and pageantry. Oh, we particularly. can see it. We can see it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it happened before. Uh, so pageantry happened before Zuri Health. Okay. But, you know, as we grow and evolve, we, we find particular solutions. We want to, like, not just be a beauty queen yes. without probably it solving comes something with responsibility that's, that's right crown that sash is not just yeah. for the beauty bit of it mm -hmm. because now we look at you as mm -hmm. probably a leader in society yeah. and what are you doing with that crown so um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i'm doing a couple of things with the crown yeah. um, so i'm currently miss planet kenya and um Miss Planet uh, International is actually a movement that pursues the fulfillment of United Nations Sustainable Development Goals yes. in order to save humanity and save our planet. So uh, one of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals include um, good health and well-being. Okay. And um, so uh, with this, we find that we call them the SDGs. SDGs. Yes. yes. And, and I feel like the need to have accessible healthcare yeah. is a need and a necessity. It's a fundamental human right. That is true. Yes. So um, this way we find that we are, I'm able to like provide, like there's actually a need to um, channel like engagements and conversations regarding the tele telemarket and telehealth uh, markets in Africa because this way we are able to provide healthcare and it is fundamental in order to achieve sustainable development goals. Ooh. So this is how Zuri was born. Yes. So Zu wh when was this? Uh, so Zuri Health was actually launched in early this year in January. Okay. Yes. So w what is it about exactly? How does it work? Okay. So our journey at Zuri Health started with a vision. Okay. A vision for quality, affordable, and accessible healthcare solution for all, regardless of your location, uh, health history, or social status. Basically, uh, Zuri Health is a mobile app that helps patients across sub Saharan Africa to find and book certified healthcare services based on availability, location, and specialization of the providers. Wow. So, our aim is to provide affordable and accessible healthcare solutions via mobile app, website, and SMS service. We also help doctors pharmacies and labs and diagnostic centers to tap into a wider market of on-demand uh, patients and earn extra income while saving lives. So this way, the challenge of self-quarantine is eased by minimizing movement and limiting interaction. You Ooh, can... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you yeah. did there. You can call it a virtual hospital. Yes. So through Zuri Health, the app, patients can chat and consult with a doctor. They can buy medication from a pharmacy, book labs and diagnostic tests, and even have a doctor visit them at home. And we also take into cognizance Africa's unique challenges okay. and offer first level medical consultation via SMS service. What? Can you imagine a patient from Baringo or Isiolo is able to actually chat and consult with the doctor from five shillings alone where can you get this deal i don't think there's anywhere <laughs> else yeah because you walk so in you can because when mm -hmm. you talk about the internet and you know just mm -hmm. going onto the app then not everybody has that yes but if i'm able to just sms yes 
Five shillings, you five said? Five shillings. You don't need to travel all the way to big hospitals, pay consultation fees from about 1,000 to 3,000 Kenyan shillings. No consultation It's very fee. affordable. Okay, very affordable. Yes. I like that. So, and I can do that from home? From home. So what happens? Does, does it, is it open to all doctors? How do yeah. you get the doctors on board from so, all the different you know, specialties mm -hmm. that they're into? So we currently, for the SMS service, we have our in-house doctors okay. who are doctors on duty that respond promptly to SMS texts that you consult with them. So if you have a problem, you wake up today, you feel like you need to, you feel like you probably have a headache and you don't know what medication to to buy you can consult with the doctor and they can advise you according to how you feel and even if you need to actually physically visit the hospital they tell you to physically visit for more examination you know this has taken away mm -hmm. the biggest problem i think i know and i was talking about it earlier mm -hmm. today uh, about self-medicating mm -hmm. because you'll feel a headache you'll feel a sore throat and you'll be like ah nipatia estrapsils yeah. i'm something else mm -hmm. that's getting kind of like cover malaria my joints you know <laughs> yeah. like we are our own doctors mm -hmm. we do all these things so if i'm yes. able to mm -hmm. instead of just walking to a chemist and be yes. like self-medicate then yeah. i'm able to actually talk to a proper doctor yes who knows exactly probably yeah. what is happening to me and if i need to go see a see mm -hmm. uh, go to a hospital yes and also through the app if you don't want to like chat with the daily health tips or daily SMS, you can subscribe to our monthly premium service where you pay 200 Kenyan shillings to access free medical consultation every month. The same way people subscribe to Netflix. Wait, Why would you pay? <laughs> slow down, Daisy, <laughs> slow down. 200 bot per month. Yes. And I get free consultation for a whole month. Yes, with any That's doctor on the app. That's so right. So I can pay for a whole year, 200 times 12 yes it and like, that means a whole year i don't get to pay for consultation if i'm using zuri health yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> there are like a lot of opportunities with telehealth and we just yeah. need to tap this tap into this yes. had you seen this work anywhere else yes so we've we've had markets in asia people who are using telehealth ma markets and, med and medication mobile health apps yeah. but i think there is a need to drive this in africa yeah. we need to set proper structures in africa because the problem with ha we have in africa is we see that millions of people living in africa do not have proper quality medical health care yeah. and uh Mikali, for instance yes imagine you wake up uh every day or one morning and you find that you have a fever a sore throat or an allergy attack nothing seems to cheer you up and the idea of going to the doctor's office and waiting in the long lines makes the situation even worse because it takes too much time and effort to find the right doctors who always have no way of managing appointments mm -hmm. and things get even more frustrating when you go to the hospital and find out that the doctor you need to see is unavailable or occupied yeah Sub-Saharan Africa bears the highest disease burden in the world mm -hmm. with slow and limited access to medical health care, uh, inconvenient and expensive hospital trips for small or minor prescriptions and frequent strikes from doctors who are overworked and underpaid. So with Zuri Health, we are building a product that will fill that gap by digitally connecting patients with doctors and helping them to get proper medical health care at their fingertips. Wow. Yeah. And I'm just looking at solutions. Yeah. I live alone, okay? Mm -hmm. And sometimes you are so weak to even mm -hmm. drive yourself to oh, hospital. Yeah. So this is a solution to that as well. Yes. That I can talk to somebody mm -hmm. who is recommended, is on app, and mm -hmm. definitely you do a thorough check on the doctors yes. so we don't have quacks on the app yes, as well. Yes, they're all certified and they're licensed to actually operate by all the regulatory medical boards. Because, you know, the challenge, every day you, you wake up and uh, throughout social media, you find that people are busy fundraising for medical health care. There's someone who's sick. Or even, look, look for instance, a patient who, or a person who lives in Turkana or Baringo or which other countries or those rural areas, mm -hmm. they have to travel all the way to Nairobi just to get to the hospitals or even fly out to other countries to get proper medical health care. And you can actually get this Virtually, we have audio, like, and visual consultations where you can actually consult with a doctor, and they advise you according. Who is not in the country? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, please continue. I'm sorry to cut you short. <laughs> I'm just—it's—it's—it's it's, it's mind blowing <laughs> to just think that 
on my phone, yeah. I can talk to a doctor who's in a different part of this continent mm -hmm. and be able to get help. Yeah, or even book them. So it, it's not necessarily that you have to consult with a doctor via telemedicine. Yeah. You can actually book an in-clinic visit from the app as well. Yes. So I can just, if I'm a user and I log into the app, mm -hmm. simply just by signing up with your email or phone number, you are able to browse through a list of doctors. You can filter according to their location. You can see uh, this is a dentist, this is a gynecologist. And I book directly. Yes. You There's see no assistant. No assistant. <laughs> so the doctors open their schedules and you're able to see that, sorry, this particular doctor is available tomorrow okay. in the afternoon. Yes. So if I book them directly and they get an in-app notification, you always just walk into the hospital, no queue, get your treatment. She's expecting me. Yes, and go back about doing all your business. Yeah. And we have all kinds of doctors mm -hmm. in this app. Yes. With <laughs> You just launched this year. Yes. That There's means a there was a lot of work done before. Yes, and actually, one thing I have to note is there's a lot of engagements, especially by our SMS platform, mm. because we find that probably a lot of these young people are scared to actually visit the hospital and explain to the doctor about the problems they're facing, if yes. it's about sexual health. Yes. And there's a lot of engagement where users, because of the anonymity and the private uh, confidentiality about their health, they're able to ask these kind of questions that people feel like it's, not because proper I was going to ask, how secure is it? Do yeah. you want screenshots? Yeah, yeah so, no, 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 no. <laughs> so our systems are end-to-end -end encrypted. Okay. So whatever goes on with your, the, your chat between the doctor, it's confidential. Even the, as you consult with the doctor online, you are able to actually provide access to your medical records or mm, de deny mm. them the access to your medical records. Okay. Yeah. And what about uh, patient history? Yes. Uh, how do you go about making sure that when I see a doctor, then mm -hmm. maybe they know, mm -hmm. they are able to see what my history looks like. So or, if I've been struggling mm -hmm. with diabetes or high blood pressure yeah. in the past, I, I'm seeing you nodding <laughs> like I have an answer for you, Yo. Mikali. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, bring it, bring it. Okay. Yeah, so also through the app, patients can actually store their medical records. Okay. And, and you have the option to like, so if a doctor gives you a prescription, they're able to record your medical history and you have them in store. So if a doctor is, trying to, is treating you, they're able to see that probably you have a history of this kind of allergies. Last, the treatment you had was maybe, you know, mm -hmm. right, pr probably you had a surgery or you've just recently given birth, all that is in the app and it's confidential to you. So they're able, so if I'm dealing mm -hmm. with a heart doctor mm -hmm. who needs to find out if I have prior mm -hmm. conditions that yeah. might be leading to this, mm -hmm. do they consult with that doctor or they'll just be able to get that file online? So on the app rather? Yes, yeah, so the doctors do not have access to your medical records, okay. but until you provide, so if a doctor is consulting with you via the app, they are able to click, there's an icon where you can uh, access or request the patient to share their medical profiles. So the only option or the only um, thing the patient needs to do is mm -hmm. to accept and grant access to the doctor. Once ah. you click that granting access, the doctor views all your medical histories. So and that means able I'm to in control of that. Yes. So if I want to share, I will share because I want you to understand mm -hmm. what my history looks like. Yes. You will not go looking for it elsewhere. Yeah. That is perfect. And it's not I just like safe. accessible. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like because I've booked this doctor, they automatically know my medical history. No, no, no. Okay. It's all in control of the patient. Okay. Yeah. And we can find hospitals in there. So mm -hmm. I've, I've talked to a doctor. Yes. Heart doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go to the extremes, right? Yes. And um, so there's some medicine that I need mm -hmm. to get. Yes. So we have pharmacists on the mm -hmm. app as well. Yes. Who can deliver that to me. Yes. So when we were building uh, Zuri Health, we built it as an all-inclusive mobile health solution. Okay. We have the pharmacy model. We have the test and diagnostic center model. We have the doctor on duty, doctor at home, and the hospitals. So if I am browsing through hospitals, I'm able to see a list of all the hospitals near me. And if I book and consult with a doctor and the doctor prescribes for me, probably go and take this aspirin or whatnot, yes. Uh, it's very easy. I don't need to start again driving all the way to the pharmacy. Just from the app, you go to the pharmacy model, search for the medication you want, book from the pharmacy list we've on onboarded, and someone actually delivers to you the medication where you are, at your doorstep. So you don't need to drive all the way. It's the same way these days people use food delivery apps. Yes, so yes. if I have a headache and I'm just, I don't want to go anywhere, it's raining outside, 
I book for my medication, it's delivered to your house. And also if the doctor prescribes or is trying to examinate you and tells you probably because you feel like you're feeling this way, I'd like you to do some diagnostics or tests. Yeah. You can just book again directly through the app. So you go to the test and diagnostics, you look for the test you want to do, you book, you can either choose to book for an in-clinic visit to the test and diagnostic center mm -hmm. or actually choose for someone to, like to come and pick up your samples from your house. Currently, what we are actually doing from our test and diagnostic center, a lot of people are booking for COVID-19 tests. Yes. Yeah, so it's very easy because once you book for your COVID-19 test, a specialist is dispatched to your house. They mm -hmm. pick and collect your samples. Mm -hmm. If you're traveling, you get your results even in less than six hours. So can we get the vaccine? Um, are we doing that at Zurio? <laughs> yeah, so those are some of the plans we intend to roll okay. out once okay. we get approval from the government as well okay. because healthcare is very much regulated. Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. I think you're doing a fantastic job. What does the Thank future you. look like for Zuri Health? Well, so we see that um, the telemedicine market in Africa is evolving rapidly yes. and we are positioning ourselves as the Pract of Africa with a key focus in serving the marginalized segments of the market to provide sustainable and affordable health care. So currently we are looking to raise funds to fuel growth sustain and improve operations to become the number one mobile health app in Africa. Yay. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay, all the best with that. Thank so you so much. This app, Android, um, mm -hmm. iPhones, we mm -hmm. can get all this on the app. Yes, so Zuri Health is available on Google Play Store and mm -hmm. App Store, both for Android and iOS users. Mm -hmm. Our website is www.zuri.com dot health okay. and you can also access and subscribe to our sms service by texting zuri to our short code number 21702 i have to repeat that yes 21702 and you automatically chat and consult with the doctor okay. from five kenyan shillings i have to repeat that please <laughs> shilling tano two, tano two. And then you're in there talking yes. to a doctor so mm -hmm. if you if you're not on the mm -hmm. smart side of life yes then we get to the SMS one. Yes, as and long as you have a free? subscription is so subscription is free. But once you chat, start consulting with a doctor, you charge five, five shillings. shillings and then you always receive daily health tips. OK, yeah, that help you, you know. Daisy, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. And congratulations on Zuri. Thank you so much. Check it out, guys, and give us your feedback. If you try it out, triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Utuambiye, ume subscribe. Kumeenda Aje is it working for you. We're going to take a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. This is Full Circle with Mukali.